more than a fun now. Today we are fishing for Kahawai, uh, a very special place, a uh, place where Kahawai have provided year after year for our ancestors and for us today, um, provided us a kai. Kahawai is a stable source of kai throughout the whole year, uh, where you can preserve it through the winter months and also just a kai all round. No one is the people's fish now. Uh, to many who chase big game, not so much a priority, but to us who live off the land, uh, that is a staple fish to hunt, gather and provide. I'll be using a lure today that I made. It's made of uh, rewa rewa and pawa shell with a big hook on there. A bit of muka, harakeke there for the line to up front, which I'll be using with my rod. Let's go. It's been an absolute privilege and honour to be able to come down here and harvest from uh, these traditional grounds. Uh, it's been an absolute privilege, like I say, uh, to be able to explore the area, uh, provide for our people and also gain some knowledge from our kumatoa here plants. Stay hard. Che. Kia ora whanau, hey you've been out of action for a bit but uh, I've been doing some behind the scenes mahi I'm just here with Pap Sterling um, and he's shown me how he makes his um, homemade lures uh, for his fishing for his um, son and his son's kids as well who get out there and do the mahi kai nowadays, eh Paps? Hi. As you know I'm into my crafts as well and Paps did say that uh, this is derivative of the old power shell lure um, and here's my one from home um, hey, I just thought, how about a swap? Yeah. yeah. Not a problem. Oh, there you go. Well, that's <laughs> yours. My man's yeah, lasting me eight years and I'll take the new vids in there. And I ain't gonna push this one. I'm gonna put it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> treasure. <laughs> Stay hearty. Hunt, gather, provide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 